Hello world, welcome back to Some Kind of Gaming. What a week it's been for Nintendo. How good was that direct? If you haven't seen it yet, you can watch our reaction to it up here. Oh hot damn, there was some juicy announcements. But one noticeable absentee that many people thought would be a definite inclusion was the final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate character reveal. It seems that Nintendo wanted to give this last hurrah a little bit more time to shine as they actually announced a whole event surrounding the unveiling. The final inclusion for Smash has long been speculated upon and since the Direct ended the rumours have been running rampant. So we thought we'd add a little bit more fuel to the fire. We wanted to give our two cents and talk about some of the most likely candidates as well as throwing in a few characters that while unlikely we'd personally really love to see. Don't forget to super smash that subscribe button and if you like Nintendo and gaming related content go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. The most exciting rumour for many, and one that's been around for quite a while now, is the prospect of Halo's Master Chief coming to Smash Bros. Arguably the reason why this is the most exciting character prospect is because it also kind of insinuates that the Halo games might be coming to the system. I don't know if people are more excited for Master Chief to go up against Jigglypuff or to play the Halo games on the system. Either way, having one of Microsoft's most recognisable mascots come to Nintendo is an intriguing thought. Now we did already get Steve from Minecraft added to Smash a while ago now, so it seems like Microsoft might just be open to the idea. Shooters seem to be the most underrepresented genre in Smash, so meeting Master Chief would be a great addition to the game. The second most persistent rumour that we keep hearing about has been around for just as long as the Master Chief one. That's Crash Bandicoot. Honestly, this is the rumour that excites us the most. <laughs> Having Crash go up against Mario would definitely satisfy the 90s kids in us. Not only does the Australian marsupial fit the game's aesthetics perfectly, his moveset's pretty much already there. Apart from the obvious belly flop and spin moves, seeing him drop nitrous and TNT crates around the stage would add yet another hectic mechanic to Smash. Having Crash in Smash introduces many other opportunities for Crash characters to be involved. Coco and Torna could be alternate skins, and having Nefarious be involved in a final Smash move would be epic. Crash in Smash! Crash and smash! Crash and smash! Crash and smash! Now PlayStation doesn't have all that much representation in the Smash roster. So does this mean Crash isn't likely to come and PlayStation just isn't interested? Or does it mean Nintendo is saving this exciting announcement for last? I guess we'll find out. Even before Smash Ultimate was released, fans were chomping at the bit to get Waluigi in on the scene. So it seems like he would be the perfect final addition to the Smash Brothers lineup. We do have a little bit of animosity towards the Purple Plumber. If we were ever beaten by an NPC in Mario Kart, you can be damn sure that it was Waluigi. And even though he's not our favourite, we will admit that if there's any other Mario character that deserves an inclusion, it's him. Waluigi was first introduced in a Mario tennis game and has subsequently infiltrated almost every other Mario title, so why not Smash? He would be the perfect vehicle to introduce the Mario sports elements into the game. Imagine it, golf balls flying everywhere, always watching your back to make sure that you don't get served by him in his tennis racket. I just love to see him in his pimp suit from Mario Golf Super Rush, even if it is just to extract some revenge for Mario Kart. Bridging the gap between characters that we're most likely to see and characters that we would personally like to see is none other than Goku from the legendary Dragon Ball franchise. Masahiro Sakurai, the creator of Smash Brothers, has already said that the roster will be made up of video game characters only, and since Goku debuted in a manga, it essentially rules him out. However, it only took him two years to make his way into the video game world in 1986, and let's be honest, there is no shortage of Dragon Ball games. I am a huge Dragon Ball fan, so being able to play as my childhood hero in Smash would be like a dream come true. Imagine being able to Kamehameha Bowser right in the face. Ooh, yeah. You could maybe have Goku's Super Saiyan God transformation as his final smash. Or you could have the Spirit Bomb. Or you could have the Father-Son Kamehameha. Ah, uh, there's just so much inspiration to draw from here. Now that we've discussed some of the most heavily rumoured newcomers to Smash, we thought we'd spice it up a bit by talking about some of the characters we would love to make our new mains. Doom Guy hasn't been without rumours of his own, as many others anticipate his arrival to Smash. For me, however, I think he's probably my top pick to fill that last spot in the roster. 
Maybe he would like a break from the endless hordes of cyborg zombie alien demons and face off against some cuter squishy pink balls. In the form of Kirby and Jigglypuff, that is. Doom is often credited as being one of the most violent and graphic video game franchises of all time, and probably one of the most hated by mothers around the world. For this reason, I do think it's a little bit unlikely that Doom Guy will make his way to Smash, as his head exploding moves don't exactly fit in with Nintendo's family-friendly ideals. If there is one character that I would love to fight with, it has to be Spyro. This little purple dragon would be a perfect addition to this fighting game, and he even comes with his own built-in flamethrower. In a previous video, we discussed how lucky we felt to be able to play a Spyro game on the Nintendo Switch with the release of the Reignited Trilogy. So it doesn't seem like too much of a stretch that he could come smash, right? Unfortunately though, if there is a PlayStation mascot that's going to be added to the lineup, it's probably going to be Crash. He's just far more popular, especially after the release of his new game, It's About Time. But personally, I have more of an affinity with Spyro, and I think he would be such a unique character to add to the game. And a girl can dream, can't she? Perhaps Nintendo would like to round out one of their largest gaming franchises with a character of their own. Seeing as though we have this love-hate relationship with Waluigi, if this were the case, our top pick would be Impa from The Legend of Zelda. There are heaps of Impas for Nintendo to choose from, as she's a main character in almost every Zelda game and almost always looks different. Our favourite though, and the one that we feel will most lend itself to Smash, is the Impa from the most recent Hyrule Warriors game, Age of Calamity. This version of Impa is arguably the most badass, and all Sakura would have to do would be literally to pluck her moveset from here and put it over here. We're getting into some pretty unlikely territory now, but one franchise that we think deserves more credit than it gets is the Italia series. Italia's been around since 1997, so there's definitely not a lack of content to draw upon, especially seeing as though the Switch has received quite a few ports of it lately. Undoubtedly, the best games in the whole series are the Italia Rises, so it's the Alchemist Riser who we're picking for the final slot in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate lineup. How cool would it be though if they picked multiple alchemists from different games under the guise of the different skins? Kind of like they did with Hero from Dragon Quest. The main mechanic of the Italia franchise revolves around alchemy, which is essentially just a crafting system. This means that there's heaps of epic weapons and items that Sakurai could draw upon for Ryza's moveset. There's no doubt that Ryza would be a bit of an odd pick, but it would be a great way to introduce a lot of new people to the series, and she's a pretty badass chick. Indie characters are often represented in Smash as spirits or supports. There aren't actually any main fighters that hail from an indie title. Seeing as though these games do so well on the Nintendo Switch, why not celebrate this by throwing one of their characters in the final slot for Smash? Obviously these games would have had to make quite the impact to be considered, but we think that we have two perfect candidates. Hades was a game that took the world by storm, going head to head with some of the largest studios in the world for Game of the Year in 2020. So what better title to put in Smash than this one? You would have to choose the protagonist of Hades to be the final fighter in Smash, Hades' son Zagreus. Hades is a roguelite game, meaning that Zagreus gets to choose a different weapon at the start of every run, a concept that would be awesome to see in Smash. His up smash could utilise the spear Varatha, his down smash Aegis the shield, and his side smash could use the gauntlets of Malfon. This would make Zagreus an extremely versatile fighter and mean he would be so much fun to use. Kid Icarus already brings Greek mythology to the table, so why not expand on that with the inclusion of Zagreus, Prince of the Underworld? The same year that Hades was in the running for Game of the Year, among Us won Best Multiplayer Game. Having sold over 3.2 million units on the Switch alone, we're pretty sure no one would be disappointed with the inclusion of an imposter in Super Smash Bros. The imposters really get creative when slaughtering their crewmates in Among Us, so Sakurai has some pretty wacky ideas to choose from. Two that we would be most looking forward to are the face disintegrating laser eye and the alien-esque tongue spike. I think players would have a great time having more control over the sprite than they get in Among Us. 
Seeing an imposter take on Ryu in hand-to-hand -hand combat would be incredible. Even seeing one jump would be something new. It's been three years since Super Smash Bros. Ultimate released and we honestly wish that they would never stop adding new characters. The hype and speculation before each one has been just as entertaining as actually playing the game. But alas, all good things must come to an end. And we're pretty sure Sakurai would like to work on something different for now. We're fairly certain that Ultimate won't be the final inclusion in the Smash Brothers franchise as it's just too iconic of a series. But the reveal of this final fighter definitely feels like the end of an era. So who are you hoping for as the final Smash Brothers fighter? Let us know in the comments below. I'm sure there are heaps of good ideas that we haven't even considered. And it's your last chance to speculate. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And don't forget to catch that final Super Smash Bros. Ultimate character reveal. It airs on October the 5th, or if you're here with us down under, midnight of the 6th. Until then, we'll see you next time.